Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Olshock. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to hit it better and protect your back at the same time. We'll look at two YouTube videos from Tour Stars. One who has never had back problems and the other who has recurring back problems. In 1992, Tom Watson said that he found the secret to the golf swing. It was maintaining the spine angle, in other words, the posture, through the golf swing. This is also the secret to preventing back problems. In good golf swings, the spine doesn't actually move much. Near the top where the shoulders are attached, it hardly moves at all. During the backswing, it should move out toward the target line and to the right just a bit. From the top to delivery, it moves slightly back away from the target line to a place that's slightly forward of where it was at address. From delivery to finish, the top of the spine doesn't move at all and the bottom of the spine moves a little forward and over to the left. Adam Scott is the model of correct spine angle maintenance. During the backswing, his whole spine moves a little toward the target line and a little to the right. From the top to delivery, it moves back a little forward of where it was at address. And from there, the top of the spine stays there, the bottom of the spine goes a little forward and a little to the left. A proper setup is crucial. His spine is tilted slightly to the right, his right knee is just inside his right foot, his left knee is over his left foot, and the left knee is a little higher than his right knee. The hips are also perpendicular to the spine, and this is a very important point. During the backswing, the head will move slightly to the right of where it was at address. All at the same time, the left arm will lift, the right shoulder will go back behind his head, and the left hip will come out toward the target line and toward the right toe. When we get to the top, the spine has moved slightly to the right and slightly toward the target line. The spine angle has been maintained in its address position. At the top, you can see the head has moved slightly to the right, the left hip has come out toward the target line and toward the right toe, and the right hip has hardly moved at all. From the top to delivery, you can see that the whole spine moves a little forward of where it was at address and also back away from the target line just a little bit as depicted by the green arrow. A very important point is that his head has also moved forward a little bit ahead of where it was at address as seen by the aqua colored line. The pink arrow shows that the left hip has moved back away from the target line and a little forward of where it was at address as you can see by the aqua colored line. Because the head has moved forward you can see that the weight is more toward the left than the right as depicted by the orange arrow. The red arrow points at the left knee which is still bent at delivery and will remain bent through impact. These body movements allow the spine to move correctly, slightly away from the target line and slightly ahead of where it was at impact, but maintaining the posture that it had at address. From delivery to impact, the top of the spine does not move and the shoulders rotate around the neck. The spine angle he had at address has been maintained the left knee remains bent. From delivery all the way to the finish the top of the spine does not move. The shoulders rotate around the neck and the head also rotates. That is clear in this picture. Through impact his belly button will move forward up and to the left. To review the upper part of the spine stays in one spot. The shoulders rotate around the neck as does the head. The belly button goes forward up and to the left and the left knee remains bent. At the finish there is a slight curve in the lumbar spine which is a natural position. You can see that Adam Scott's spine tilt is very similar at every stage of his swing. He's the model of spine angle maintenance. Let's look at the anatomy of the spine so we can understand what's going on. The green arrow shows you a vertebra, which is the bone. 
The vertebrae are parallel to each other and are separated by discs. The blue arrow shows the natural curvature of the spine, but the discs are still parallel to each other. This model is curved and not in its natural position. The red arrow shows you that a portion of the disc space is narrowed. The next red arrow shows you a thin disc due to damage over time. The green arrow shows you a normal disc. When the vertebrae are parallel to each other and torque to the spine occurs, no damage is done. But when torque occurs during the golf swing and the disc space is narrowed, you can get a ruptured or bulging disc. Over time, the disc will become thinned, possibly requiring spinal fusion operation. Look at this YouTube video of Jason Day. At setup, he's really good, but he's had recurring back problems. Let's see if we can find out why. During the backswing, he maintains his spine angle, and at the top of his backswing, he's still in really good position. You can see that his spine is still tilted slightly to the right, just as it was at address. Here's where the problem starts. He doesn't move his whole spine forward during transition. You can see that the top of his spine, represented by his head, stays there, while the bottom part of the spine, represented by his hips, moves forward. You can see that this has changed his spine angle and caused an unnatural curvature in his right lower back. Through impact, his head continues to stay there, the spine angle changes even more, and the curve in his lower back becomes even greater. To review, he's good at the top, but his head stays there so that his whole spine does not move forward during transition. To review, Adam Scott and Jason Day are very similar at the top of their swings. However, they are very different at impact due to the fact that Adam Scott has moved his whole spine forward during transition and Jason Day has not. After impact, the curve in Jason Day's back is even greater while Adam Scott has a natural curve in his back. This is one of my top students in his early days. You can see how contorted the spine can get during a golf swing and this can really cause big problems. On the left, Chris has kept his head back, and on the right, he has allowed the whole spine to move forward during transition. Here's another common mistake that I see all the time. The right hip goes too far behind the golfer on the backswing, and then it causes the spine to tilt to the left and curve. Here's an example of the hip going too far behind the golfer on the backswing. Then the hip has nowhere to go but underneath you and it makes you straighten your posture through impact. This is also bad for the back. When you tilt to the left on the backswing, it makes you tilt to the right on the forward swing. This causes another type of back problem. On the left is a normal back. The sacroiliac joints are in the green. If the spine moves to the left on the backswing, then the bottom part of the spine can bump into the sacroiliac joint and cause inflammation. The opposite is true on the downswing. Over time, you can get arthritis in the sacroiliac joints. Disc injuries occur from excess and incorrect spine movement. The disc space is narrowed due to excess curvature, and when the turn occurs in the golf swing, the result is a ruptured disc, a bulging disc, and thinning worn out disc. Common swing causes include keeping the head still at the wrong time and not moving forward during transition. Improper hip turn and improper setup also cause problems, and we'll review a few of those now. Leaving the head back and driving the hips forward is the most common and the most serious problem. Improper hip turn traps your hip behind you and makes you lose your posture through impact. This causes a bad golf swing and it also causes back problems. On the left, the golfer has a natural spine configuration at setup. On the right, he is hunched over and is a setup for bad back problems. Remember, Tom Watson had it right. The secret of the golf swing and preventing back injuries is spine angle maintenance. To find out more, 
Find my book, How to Use Biomechanics to Save Your Back and Your Golf Swing. It's all about the posture. It's the only book I know that's in existence that talks about biomechanics and back problems. Go to Amazon, put Olshock in the search engine, and you'll find the book. If you enjoyed the blog and the video, go to bestgolfdrills.com. You can get free blogs and videos. Give us your email address, and we'll send them to you.